with this few points, I wish to thank you very much for the opportunity given to us. And uh, I would call on you, please let us not lose you. Let architects not lose you. Always remember the architects, because that is one problem we always have. Sorry to say, when people get to certain position, they normally forget, especially the architects, they normally forget the architectural uh, profession. So we want you to, to use your office to please assist the profession of architecture and architects, especially those uh, coming behind us so that they can be gently uh, employed. Thank you very much. There are two dead men that I won't forget in this crowd, inshallah. Then, alhamdulillah, uh, here I became the secretary to government. Maybe some people will say because I joined politics. Politics and architecture, I think there is a need for us to look at it and then uh, discuss it because we are all colleagues here. I don't have the ambition to join politics. When I started my architecture up to the time, I think up to the time, the last months I'll join politics. Politics is not part of my shadows. I started work when I graduated in here in Kasana, but then we were lucky Kasana State was just created by the Babangira administration in 1987. By 88, we finished our service and we got a job. I got three offers then in Kasana. The first one was to be a lecturer in Kansana Polytechnic, which I took that over immediately and I started lecturing. But the, by then, Minister of Health are in need of architects. They want to build some hospitals around the offer of Kansana, the six offers of Kansana. Then I was just deployed. I was asked to put my resignation in Poly and then come and take out the offer in Kansana. My own mission was to be a lecturer and then maybe establish a part of architecture. By then there was no architecture department. But they said that uh, since we are two of us, me and architect Batura, Umar Batura Ghani, I should leave Batura to continue that and come back to the Minister of Health. Meanwhile, Minister of Works are also in need of architects. But I went to Kazina Polytechnic, I left after one month, I joined Minister of Health. So even at that, I found that uh, I was not, uh, I was not feeling comfortable working there again because there is no much challenge, architectural challenge. You know, when you are graduate from the fresh from university, you want to find yourself in the midst of design and uh, projects for vision and other things. I found what we are doing here is not that it's too minor for me, but I found that uh, it's not so challenging for me to continue. So luckily, architect Zamir Ahmed, uh, who has been my mentor on my professional uh, practice. At Tazvari came to Kasana, and he, he persuaded me I should leave and then come and join them in Triad Associates in Kaduna, which I graciously accepted. By the way, by then they were given the design to design the market here in Kasana and uh, design the, all the political parties in the whole country that we are having. So I graciously joined him where I met Akhtar Musa Sada and some of our colleagues there. I spent Triad for six years working in Triad, and that is where I got all my professional practice. And I was uh, have to be grateful to Allah, I have to be grateful to that firm and those personal partners, actors, Bel Ahmed and uh, Ahmed Dasuki, who took me through the architecture from the scratch up to the time I got registered as a full-time architect. And, uh, after I stayed there for, so few, uh, for six years, I decided to open my own farm and proceed. Because that is the essence of the practice. When you practice, you, you get to a point, you can practice on your own since you are watching your lessons. And, uh, God, as God will have it, I bumped into Elijah Abu Musarimi, who was the former governor of Kaduna State, defunct Kaduna State, who pulled me into mortgage. They have opened a new Sahel mortgage bank in Kaduna and they said that I should come and practice there. Not to practice architecture, but to practice mortgage because by then it was one of the requirements of uh, mortgage. You must have an architect or registered architect or registered 25 year 
to work in the company because it's a development finance uh, institution. That's why I spent two years there. It was in that place that I decided that since I'm in a bank, why, sh why should an architect be in a bank? And I thought, of why don't I go and, and, and study uh, MBA, Master's in Business Administration. That's what prompted me to go and uh, register for Master's in Business Administration apart from the architecture I have. And it has helped me very well. First in the Sahel mortgage to understand what all the uh, debit and credits are in the mortgage institutions. And then it's what add up to what uh, letter Mr. President saw in me that he appointed me MD of Mortgage Bank later in life. I remember uh, uh, Murne was also in, the, in that department of uh, Masters in Business Administration together with some of our architects. Even Musa Sade was there. So I found that uh, it's good to explore. You know, in the process of exploration, it le one leads to another, and then you become somebody. Yes. So that's what made me to become a mortgage banker later in life. After two years, I decided to go back to my own profession, architecture. So I opened my own firm, architecture firm, AM Design Consults, at the center of the construction company, Jalo International Nigeria Limited. And given this history for the young ones to see that uh, architect is a very fluid profession, you can move from one place to another, and uh, you can be anything, anywhere, anywhere you can be. By the way, this office of Secretary to Government and the third architect to occupy this office. That is uh, Dr. Ahmed Abu Daradua. He was the first architect to acquire here. And then later, architect Brian uh, uh, Zaidi. He also occupied the position of uh, SGS Kasana. So I'm the third to acquire that position of, of that. So I opened my own firm and I practiced. I practiced for almost uh, 30 years before I, I get the position of uh, MD of Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria. Because I, I remember I left uh, 1996, I, I set up my own firm. And then I was there until 2017 when Mr. President gave me the MD of Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria. It was through, within this process of 30 years, while I was having my own practice, that I had little time to even practice politics. Yes. Politics, which others consider it, is a, it shouldn't be a permanent uh, uh, occupation. It should be a side occupation which you could do. Because first of all, you must develop yourself to what you want to be. And then at the same time, by the side, you should start doing politics. Due to the nature of the politics you are having, it's good to develop yourself fully then uh, you can be practicing politics by the side, it will add up to you. Yes. So, Alhamdulillah, I am given this as one of the mission of the NIA to mobilize and educate the younger ones or the architects for quality service. I know that architecture has a lot of challenges, especially for these younger ones. I remember when we graduated, we don't have that problem. As I told you, Three jobs were waiting for me here in Kazna when I graduated, but now it's not the case. So one has to ensure that uh, those challenges are overcome, and I'm happy the NIA the chapter in Kazna are doing their best to ensure that they guide the young architects to be what they want to be. Quackery is one of the major things that uh, affects architecture, uh, architectural profession, not only in Kazna but in other states. Most people, they will prefer to give uh, unregistered architects designs to learn from them. But I uh, will ensure that in Kansas State, that uh, the government itself, they only give a professional registered architects before, for any design that will come to the state. <laughs> we also ensure that uh, some of the agencies that need uh, architectural inputs uh, Registered architects are put in place in their locations in order to even uh, uh, 
to tell the younger ones to become what they want to be. Yes. Uh, I can remember that my tenure in FIBN when I went to the Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria. Uh, I just want to mention it because I think my Muruna was saying that uh, he hopes we will not forget our own profession. Inshallah, I will not forget architecture or architects. I did that in FMBN just for the mention that when I went to FMBN, I found that uh, the major problems affecting the federal mortgage law in Nigeria at that time was the issue of uh, uh, professionalism. It's a development finance institution that uh, spent major part of its own budget. They are spending it on construction of houses. And these houses are being built by developers. Some are even political developers that do not have any uh, uh, knowledge of construction. And the people who are supposed to supervise them, they are members of staff of FMB and who are mostly accountants, economists, and other professions. We realized that that cannot happen. That's when I now quickly recruited over 63 architects and consultants. <laughs> Make sure that all the 36 branches in the country they have a registered architect or quantitative engineer in that branch because I'm, I'm expecting that at that time we'll have construction sites in every set of the country. So only the registered uh, professionals in the built environment should be able to do that to advise the bank. I made a lot of files that. Uh, some contractors, some developers, they have built, they have, they have collected the loan. Some have collected 80% of the money. But when we go to site, we find that only 20-30% of the work is on ground. So we realized that uh, we have to now put a, a committee, investigative committee, to invite those people. They come and they told us that uh, they went to site and they value it and they come back. How did you value? They just... Uh, look at what he has done, and then he, he wrote what he wants to write. So I realized I can't even punish them, because they were sent by their, so, so, by their management, and they went and brought a document to them, and the, and the management approved it. Despite the fact that they are even bringing some pictures. So that's why I realized that uh, there is a need to, to employ professionals, uh, architects, engineers, and coaches and ways in that uh, bank, and every branch of the Federation, and also to even engage uh, external consultants who should supervise them. So at the end of the day, I have three channels. When you are giving a development, you have an external consultant who will supervise you and bring a report. Then we send an internal uh, uh, consultant who is an external engineer or architect to also resident in that state to go and bring his own report. Then the office also we have professionals that are heading the project finance department who is who is in charge of these uh, constructions. So it's the way to compare both the two uh, inputs and then come up with the recommendation to the management. And uh, that's how we are able, honestly speaking, to ensure that we achieve a lot in FMBN at that time and many people were there. And at the same time we created jobs for architects at that time that we have to be doing. So whatever you are, that's how you need to do and ensure that uh, yeah, that's done. As SGS, as I was appointed, I was just, uh, today I'm 30 days in office as the SGS of the So, uh, and, uh, within that time, I was able to establish a committee to, to verify the liabilities left by the prison administration. And uh, the committee has already been established, that has sent to those members. And uh, I ensure that an architect is heading that committee. 